February 11th. Another bad day. I'm not sure what the fuck is up with my body and why I'm exhibiting anxiety and panic attack symptoms again. I'm like racking my brain trying to figure out. I still, even despite all the emotional and psychological stress I've experienced the last week or so, with my mom getting COVID, mom and dad getting COVID, and desperately trying not to. I don't know, like, in that time, I'd still been improving and getting better, and now all of a sudden, it's just like, a, it's that same metaphor that I always use of feeling like I'm climbing a mountain and striving and struggling for each inch to go up, and then one mistake or one you know, I don't know, stumble and I'm just rolling down the hill and can't stop and I have no idea why. I'm going to go through the things I think could possibly be. Um, started a new bottle of probiotic, same kind, but a new bottle in, in the past. I've had a bottle that like it always smelled funny and I so I opened the capsules and sprinkle them on food and I definitely noticed a difference in how it reacted with my body. So maybe that um I mean, I've been noticing digestive problems for this week, and have gotten worse and worse. And I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's bugging me. Um, other things. Did the vistas. I mean, I've been doing that for about two weeks, though. New coast I've been doing for about a month. Um, with like a four-day break in there somewhere. So it's hard for me to leave. It's that. Um, I've been more my else I was thinking maybe I would have started using a new pan and then using like avocado oil to grease it up and well that shouldn't really be enough to do what's it's doing I mean I have not been reacting well with oil for a long time so maybe any bit of it on like the fish that I'm cooking is causing this. Um, I've been doing the Mega Sidon for my immune system, which is like a herbal spray probiotic. So maybe that, and I started that when my mom got COVID, so maybe that has been playing a factor. Maybe it's the physical therapy that I started doing again. I had really been bumping that up with doing glute minimus exercises and wall slides, which were helping. Like I noticed a difference in my posture. But maybe it was too much in the past trying to do physical exercise has caused the symptoms. So maybe doing those things when I have food in my body. It's 
it's causing mal digestion or bad digestion or malabsorption and you know the food is putrefying and causing gas and you're not digesting right so if undigested food particles are getting in my colon and damaging it and inflaming it and then the gas is pushing up which is causing me anxiety I don't know getting off all of it essentially as much as I don't want to getting off all of it and have to reintroduce one at a time I'm uh not liking this though. A choking feeling in my throat. Pressure in my stomach. It's doing so well. I'm gonna try and remind myself that nothing shows character like responding to a crisis. I'm trying not to let this dictate my actions. I'm trying to push through and make good decisions and remain disciplined and push through to accomplish everything that I said I'd do to, to do during the day. And I need to adjust and stop setting higher expectations um, and giving myself as much to do during the day um, I'm daily stoic Daily Stoic today is Hero or Nero. It's about king and tyrants and um, basically power. The quote, I tried memorizing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try. Our soul is sometimes a king and sometimes a tyrant. A king, when attending to the honorable, protecting the health of the body in its care and not giving it base or sordid commands. When uncontrolled, fueled by indoor. No. When we are uncontrolled, desire fueled by desire, desire fueled and overindulgent we turn from a king into the most hated and feared thing tyrant I think we got that anywhere near or it was close but Our soul is sometimes a king and sometimes a tyrant. Got that right. A king, by attending to what is honorable, protects the good health of the body in its care and gives it no base or sordid command. I think I got that. But an uncontrolled. But an uncontrolled. 
desire fuel of overindulged soul. That's what I am. But an overindulged, but an uncontrolled desire fueled, overindulgent soul is turned from a king into the most feared and detested, not hated, the most feared and detested thing at time. Right? And the principle is essentially that, um, well, the, the book brings up quote, and the axiom, absolute power corrupts absolutely, and it goes through examples of the emperors that kind of um, embodies that, or is representative of that. Um, but he also says that it's not necessarily true, because there are wicked, um, just kings in the past, and he brings up Marcus Aurelius specifically, um, and another one. Um, and he basically asserts that it's all about your inner strength and awareness and the principles to which you cling and associate with and actually um, practice and how much you hold on to them and how, uh, how much you actually follow them and use them to counteract things like greed and the temptation of wealth and deference and being, you know, fortune and fame and power and um, there's something else that I forgot. That's good. That's basically it. That's good.